Today, I'm going to draw a Jack Russell Terrier puppy step by step. So to draw the Jack Russell Terrier puppy, I'm going to start by drawing a circle for the head. Just right in the middle of my paper. It should be large. Like this. And now, I'm going to erase the half part of the circle, like right about here. And then, the puppy's going to be looking at an angle. So, the angle is going to be like this. So when I draw this circle, then I want my circle to be also going at an angle. So I'm going to make a little gap right here for the mouth. And I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to draw a straight line, making sure right there. I'm going to tilt mine to the side. drew the head. So now I'm going to draw the body, which the body is going to be a base starting from here. Actually, maybe a bit lower than that. Starting from here. And starting from here. And then I'm make this just a bit rounder here. Now I'm going to draw the back part of the body, which starts right here and curves back into the front part of the body. Now I'm going to draw the legs. So when I draw these legs, wait, I just want to do something very quickly. I'm going to make sure that my dog is not is straight and it doesn't have to be too to the side. Okay, so I'm going to draw the legs. So starting from here, that's where one leg is going to be and curve outwards. And from here, I'm going to go from where that curve was and inward and into that curve. Let me just make it. So, one pretty cool fact is that the Jack Russell Terrier became the Parson Russell Terrier. It's also a Jack Russell Terrier, but it became a Parson Russell Terrier. This breed was named after the Reverend Jack. Russell. He named the breed the hunting parson and bred it for long distance wolfhounds. Oops, I did something wrong. And if you would like to know any more facts, then you could search on whatever you search for things.
because the only thing I tell you is that when I do a video, I always tell a fact. Or not always, but most of the times. I usually tell a fact. So, I'm going to be drawing the other pot. And I'm going to use my ruler to use. I'm going to be using my ruler and draw a straight line for the ground. So that's where my paw should end. So when I draw my paw, I'm just going to stop right there and then come from the paw upwards and stop right at the edge of the body. And for the back paw, I'm going to start at the uh, at the back end of the body and I'm going to go out and I'm going to draw the last paw. Great. Has to be a bit lower. I'm going to go out and I'm going to draw the last paw. Now I'm going to draw the ears. Wait, just one second. So I'm going to draw the ears on this dog. So I'm going to raise part of this. Start right next to the head. Like, I mean, right next to the forehead. And I am going to bring my ear down. Take it up from here, and I'm going to curve. For the other ear, I'm going to do something similar. So I'm going to take it up, oh, a bit over the head, and then bring it back down, curve, and bring back in. Just like that. So when I'm done, drawing the ear then I'm going to draw the tail so the tail is going to start right above the left ear I mean the right ear well you can draw it above the left ear or the right ear but it can it should be above the left ear it could be wagging so it could be on the right side also So now I am going to wait just one second. Might have done something wrong. Like so now I am going to draw the eyes. And with my ruler, I'm going to mark where the eye should be. So the eye should probably be right above here. This is sort of going to be the middle of the eyes. So I'm going to draw one eye curve, stop in the middle, curve, okay. stop in the middle, curve like that, or maybe a tiny bit bigger, let me just see, yeah it should be a tiny bit bigger, let me just fix it, and then I'm going to draw the other eye, the same, just opposite, so I'm going to draw it right here, actually a bit closer, because I don't want it to look very far apart. So I'm going to draw it like this, like this, and then I'm going to bring it in and up. I'm going to make the other eye a bit bigger also because I want the eyes to look the same and making it look a bit bigger is the better. So the bigger, the better. So let me just fix it because I'm not really the best at drawing eyes but I want it to be as good as possible and it doesn't have to be perfect. You can draw it whichever way you want. And mine is completely not perfect, but I don't mind. Only if you like it. 
And what also matters is if you have fun. So now let's go down in the middle. Let me grab my ruler. So the middle is going to be right here. So that's where your nose line is going to start. So when you draw your nose, then you should also draw a line that goes up like that. It meets the nose. And then I'm going to erase part of this because what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the bottom of the mouth. It looks like the puppy, puppy's kind of whimpering. So I'm going to say this in. Now, I think we're done with that. So I am going to grab... Well, I'm just going to use my regular pencil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase these parts and make them a bit fuzzier, like here, well, like. So I'm going to just do fuzzy lines down to the bottom and then do the same thing for the other side. Like if he's pretty hairy. So when it turns in, then you're going to go use that same fuzzy line. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going to use a, I'm going to draw the same fuzzy line down the paw and towards the paw. I'm going to get to the paw and then I'm going to shave a bit of the paw. And I will be doing it. So, just make all the lines fuzzy. It's pretty easy. And I won't fast forward this, but I will. I will go f a bit faster. And I, w and I will tell you why I chose this Jack Russell Terrier. So when I why I chose the Jack Russell Terrier is because the Jack Russell Terrier looked cute to me. And I decided that lots of people like cute things. Especially the people who are watching this right now. And also, if you like this video, then please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share in the comments below. So, now I'm going to raise part of this and I'm going to make it a bit fuzzy. There's some hair lines that go down. Buddy. I'm just going to make it fuzzy and then I'm going to draw from this and here it's going to be very fuzzy because that's the ear. So it should be very fuzzy. And stop right there. Draw two hairs on the top of his head and make it fuzzy all the way to the other side. Draw two draw the fuzzy line. I'm going to draw two hairs with a brown. Just make it fuzzy and then go back in. So now I'm going to draw the pupils. I'm going to draw the iris and then I'm going to draw the pupils. So you can fill in the black, the blank space, the blank space outside the circle inside the eye black should look like that and then I'm going to draw the iris so I'm just going to pause right there and draw a little highlight very lightly and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side okay. and I'm draw, draw a little highlight and I'm going to shade and I'm going to get lighter as I go and when you think you have gotten too light then shade it back over again Make it like that. Just a bit more. Okay. And I'm going to do it to the same thing on the other side. So I'm just going to shade it very lightly. And then I'm going to shade the nose. So I'm going to draw the top of the nose, the little nostrils on his nose, and inside the nose, and I'm going to shade it in. Just shade all the things. I mean, just a bit white, blank. 
like what? Okay. So now that that is done. Oh wait, I made a mistake. Now that is that that is done, then what I'm going to draw. Now I'm going to take out my colors. Wait, I just forgot the last ball. And the tail, I don't know why. So I'm going to take out my colors. I'm going to take out a very light brown. This brown. Then I'm going to take out this color. So with this color, I'm going to start drawing the lines inside. Like those little lines that you find inside the puppy's toe. I'm just going to make it lightly. And like that, I'm going to get it in, and then that's it. And I'm going to do something very important when I'm done coloring. So don't leave, because it's part of the drawing. So I'm just going to draw these. And right there, there's nothing. So now that that's done, then I'm going to draw. I'm going to use this. I'm gonna out. I'm just gonna color this in. Just make sure you don't get out of the lines. Or you can get out of the lines a bit, and if you do, just get an eraser and erase it. And make this part a bit darker, cause it's like, cause that's where the most of the darkness comes from. So right here, I'm going to stop. I'm just gonna shade it in. Then, then I have to shade it in. Then I'm going to get this. So I'm just gonna shade it in. And then, very carefully, I'm going to draw a line. A line, my line. And then I'm gonna go over. That's how my lines are gonna be. What have we done, Dad? Let's go over the line. I'm gonna color them right here. Color them, but when you get so, when you get close to it, pretend that they're like you drew the hairs hand no hair by hair by hair, and I want it to look like that. So when you draw these hairs, and it should look like this. It kind of looks like if there's the hair is spreading downwards, and right here is where the hair goes down deepest. So right there. That's done. So now I'm going to draw. I might color in the tail, which is pretty easy. It's just leave the last part of white. And go up. So I'm going to just kind of color it in. And then right here, I'm going to get here, 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 right here, by here, going out. So, I love these cute, adorable little pups. I'm completely a dog fan. So, this is going to make me go crazy. I'm just going to color in the pupils. And on the part where the highlighter is, make it a bit lighter. Just to show that the highlighter is there. Let me just do something. I'm going to shade in those. Make sure there aren't any white spots. If there are, try to fill them in. So now, I'm going to draw one last spot on the side. Just kind of color it in. Kind of... You don't really see the hair, so it's kind of like this. So just color it like that, and then I'm going to grab my pencil, and I'm going to start drawing some hairs. So line, line, line. Line by line by line. And then draw these lines. This line. And then draw this. Oh, I almost forgot! Those two little hairs that I told you I'm going to draw. Well, I drew them now. And I'm just going to draw 
like that. Gonna draw those hairs, and then I'm gonna draw the hair on his nose. Like that. And I'm gonna draw hairs outside. Like the hairs that are poking out from the side. Like that. So now I'm gonna go out outwards. So I'm just gonna color it in my face. So I'm just gonna go back over with it, kind of like see it in a bit. Now I'm going to draw a few hairs down here. A few hairs down here. Hairs down here. Just hairs around the paws and stuff. Few hair right here. Here, some of here. And shading right here. So on one last thing, the most important thing, the ground. So I'm going to erase this line I drew. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line. And I'm going to shade. Just shade around. Kind of like I did what I did with the pit bull. If you watch that video, just gonna shade around this little dog. So I'm just gonna shade right here. Kind of like if he has his shadow. So when you're finished drawing that, I think you could tell this that is it's done. I'm just gonna write my name on the side. And and I'm done. So I hope you like this video and I'm sorry that it took so long for me to draw another video but I hope you liked it and I'll see you soon. Bye!